how to design your store, as well as running Facebook ads, running Instagram ads, the best sources of traffic. Now, I've also been getting asked a lot to do this particular video lately because there's a lot of videos out there and there's some really great videos too. But the thing is, is that they're all old. They're all from 2017, 2018. I've been in e-commerce for a few years now. And trust me, since I started, things have changed a lot. Things change every single day, every single month. And that's why I'm happy to be presenting this video to you today and making this video because it's fully up to date and it has the best strategy to succeed the fastest possible way so you can go quit your nine to five job forever and replace it with a profitable online business with Shopify dropshipping. Now, I'm also tired of other YouTubers showing you how to build dropshipping stores using just Oberlo and AliExpress, copying products from AliExpress and using an app called Oberlo just to paste it on a store. Now, this may have worked in 2017, early 2018. Trust me, this doesn't work anymore. I tried it myself when I first got into dropshipping and let me tell you, it's just the short term way of doing things. If you want to truly have success in your life, the only way to do it is by focusing on the long term. And this video is going to be showing you how to actually build a long term business with Shopify, where it's going to be putting money in your pocket every single month for years to come. And something that you'll have as an asset that you can later on maybe pass down to your kids or sell later, you know, for an actual price, like millions of dollars, if you scale it up to that. I'm going to be showing you my strategy that I personally developed and that I personally use on my stores and stores that I've taken to eight figures per year, which is $10 million per year, which is fully possible. This isn't something crazy in e-commerce, especially when you're selling something at $50 or a hundred dollars per unit. You can see that it doesn't take all that many units to actually get to those numbers. So this is called branded dropshipping and branded dropshipping, I believe is the future. And trust me, I've done millions of dollars in online sales. Branded dropshipping is the future because you're actually building a brand. You're taking a product and you're building an actual brand out of it with complementary products. If you look at any successful e-commerce store out there, it's a branded store, right? And they probably start off as dropshipping. And so, you know, with dropshipping, if you're not really too familiar about what exactly the business model is, it's really amazing for a beginner, for someone starting out, because there's literally no risk. When you're starting out, the only things you have to pay for is, you know, the Shopify plan. So it's like for, uh, first 14 days, you get a free trial. Then it's like, uh, you know, about $29 a month. And then you might have to pay for the domain name. Okay. That's $20, $30. And that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not really much else that you have to pay for with dropshipping. And the beautiful part about dropshipping is that you don't take any inventory risk that you're taking with something like Amazon or something else, right? So at the beginning with dropshipping, you can truly like test out if a product is good. You can build a brand, the dropshipping store, and you don't even have to order any units. You don't have to order hundred or a thousand units, right? There's a lot of suppliers out there that will dropship for you with a logo and they'll do it very well. They'll do it with like good packaging, with good branding design that you'll create. And I'll show you how to do that as well. And so that way you're not taking any risk on inventory. And when you're actually going to get customers on your store to pay for your product, then and only then you will send the money and pay your supplier. And let's say if someone pays you $50 on your store and you pay for the product $10 to your supplier, then you pocket the difference between, you know, so it's $40 minus your ad cost. So let's say for ads, you spent $10 to acquire the customer. So $30 is your profit. And so that's why dropshipping is amazing, especially when you're starting out. Now in this video, it's going to be a complete tutorial and I'm going to make it so you can skip to each part individually. I'm going to put a timestamp below in the description of every single different part. We're going to go over how to choose the right products. We're going to go over how to create and design your store, the themes, the apps, all the technical stuff, installing your pixel, Google analytics, your payment methods, your shipping zones. We're also going to go over email marketing. And uh, as well, I'll also show you Oberlo, even though I'm personally not a fan, but I'll also show you how to use that as well. If you just want to kind of start simple and also Facebook ads, we're going to go over Facebook ads. And I've spent over $1 million on Facebook ads within the past year alone. And that's across all my online businesses. So trust me, I know a thing or two about Facebook ads and uh, we're going to go deep into Facebook ads. I'm super excited about that. We're also going to talk about Instagram ads, influencers, and some final tips for Shopify success. So by the end of this video, if you don't have a functional Shopify store with a good product, with something that is actually solving problems for people in a target market and a real brand, then you might have not followed it properly. And I recommend you rewatch it because there's going to be a lot of information here. So before we begin, I want to answer some common questions that you might have before starting dropshipping. So number one would be, and this is a very common question, can I do this from anywhere in the world? And yes, you can. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. And that's what's so amazing. Like today, there are so many opportunities for people out there to change their lives with online business, with dropshipping and with e-commerce. Right now, we're undergoing the craziest transformation in history and e-commerce will be huge. It's going to be 100 times bigger than what it is now. So that's why I'm so happy that you're here watching this video with me today and you're learning 
learning the right information for you to set yourself up for success. So yes, you can. That's the answer to that question. And now number two, how much money do I need to start? You can start with as little as 200 to $300. If you have like literally 50 to $100, then that might be too low. But if you have 200 to $300 or at least have access to that, then that's enough money for you to start. The great part about dropshipping is that you really don't need a lot of money because you don't have to order a lot of units up front. So that's why if you have only a few hundred dollars, then that's enough for you to actually get your store up and running. And that's the most important part. The most important part is taking action. If you can start taking action today, you'll see that your circumstances today will line up in a way where you will succeed. Most people, they don't take any action and that's exactly why they fail because they don't even try. So if you try and you actually follow every single step that I'm talking about in this video, then the chances of you succeeding are very, very high. So if you have about 200 to $300, that's enough. If you have 500 or more, let's say 500 to 1,000, that's even better because then you can start running Facebook ads. At that budget, you can really, uh, really make your store take off much faster. And Facebook ads, including Google ads and Instagram ads, which I'm going to cover as well, that is literally the key to making your store grow like crazy, make your store grow like a wildfire. And so I'm going to talk about that as well. And now question number three, and this is a common question too, that you might be asking, like, wait a second, Dan, can't my customers just go on AliExpress and buy my product themselves? And the answer is, yes, they can, but they won't. There's a reason why there's so many successful brands out there. All the products are made in China. They all can be found on AliExpress, but people still want to buy the product in stores or online on their online stores, not from AliExpress. Why? Because people want quality and quality only comes if you build a brand. And that's why branded drop shipping is the way to go. It is the true uh, way to win on Shopify. And that is exactly the strategy that Movement Watches, which is a drop shipping watch store. They actually just started off as just a store, drop shipping watches, cool watches that they found off AliExpress. They sold for over $100 million to Movado Watches, to a big uh, company. So the owner, you know, j imagine just from creating a drop shipping store today, a few years later, you go, you sell, and you walk out with a $100 million check, right? So obviously these skills are amazing to learn right now in today's changing world and in the boom of e-commerce. All right, so now let's talk about how to find the perfect product for you to start your dropshipping store. And this is the criteria that I highly recommend you go by. Number one, your product must have a wow factor. And I'm gonna go into the best product research techniques. There actually is one technique that is so much better than everything else, uh, and I actually only use two. And just from these two techniques that I'm gonna show you, I found products that have personally made me hundreds of thousands of dollars per month in sales. So, you know, it doesn't have to be complicated, and I don't like to overcomplicate this stuff. It's not hard to make money. It really isn't. It's just a simple step-by-step -step process. You just have to follow something that is already working for someone. And in this case, it's clearly working for me and for many other sellers out there. So number one, wow factor. Number two, the product must be high quality. It must have a great quality and or a great new design or something like that. Because if you find the product on AliExpress or Alibaba, let's say, and we're going to talk about finding products on Alibaba, that is literally my hidden secret. If you can find the product on there, but the quality isn't great, then you'll see that your store is going to be always hindered. It's always going to be, uh, basically, you know, not as good as it can be because your product just isn't that great. So the number one thing is to have and find a great product. The better your product is, the better the quality is, then the better you're setting yourself up for faster and more success from the very beginning. Number three, you must be able to actually find the product on AliExpress or Alibaba. Now, AliExpress and Alibaba are two different websites. AliExpress is basically what the most common uh, dropshipping website, it's like the, the website that um, all the uh, YouTubers out there were teaching to go and just copy and paste products from there. And because of that, it's become the most competitive website and it's filled with middlemen. It's filled with like not even factories, just with people in China who know the system, who play the system and who take advantage of the fact that there are so many people and who want to start drop shipping and they're following outdated information. So they're getting crazy expensive prices and extremely unreliable shipping. And so it's just a broken system. It doesn't work. And I have a video on this on my channel uh, somewhere as well, talking about why you shouldn't use AliExpress. But your product must be found on AliExpress or Alibaba. I prefer using Alibaba because uh, actually before starting with dropshipping, I uh, was selling successfully on Amazon and still am today. And dropshipping was kind of like an extended branch of that. And I wanted to get into that because obviously you want to master both, uh, you know, both areas of e-commerce, dropshipping and private labeling on Amazon. And so I figured out that Alibaba, I thought to myself, hey, wait a second. You know, there are suppliers on uh, AliExpress and Alibaba. They're probably not that different. They're probably the same suppliers, except they're just charging more money on AliExpress. What if I go 
and I send out uh, you know, my supplier template on Alibaba to the suppliers. And I basically just ask them a couple of dropshipping related questions like, hey, can you dropship this for me? And can you put a logo on this? And et cetera, et cetera. And it worked great. And most of my successful products with dropshipping have come from Alibaba suppliers. And the suppliers on there are just so much better because they're used to you know, professional relationships. They're used to huge numbers. So that's why they really want to uh, make something work with you, even if you're someone who's starting out. And the last and final point here that you need to find a great product is a passionate niche or target market. It's always better if your product really is in a passionate niche or target market, because if not, uh, I mean, like I've had products that were really, really broad and they worked incredibly well. However, if your product is in a passionate niche, for example, like camping, hiking, or fishing, or beauty, or, you know, um, let's say sustainable beauty or something like that, right? Or uh, veganism, I don't know, right? Something about food, right? So obviously people are very passionate about that and you know the more you can niche down the better but you also don't want to really niche down too much uh, because then you're not going to have as many people that would be interested in your product to be honest with you i would either go with something that's super broad a product that can be used by many many people out there or something that is in a more passionate niche something that is more niched down and that way it's just easier to target on facebook now, before we begin and actually get into product research, you will also need a Shopify subscription. And I have a 14-day free trial. There's going to be a link below in the description. So make sure that you sign up for that right now before we begin this video, because to follow with the rest of this video with the entire guide, you will need to have a subscription with Shopify. And it's free. You can cancel it you know, within 14 days if your store doesn't work or if you don't like it or whatever, right? Obviously, I recommend you push through and you persist because uh, success has all to do with persistence. So the link is down below. Make sure you pause this video, get it right now and come back. And so right before we get to the first product research technique that I'm going to show you, I want to talk about the list of the best niches for dropshipping. And there are so many niches. I mean, there aren't any particular niches that are way better than others. Uh, however, this list right here, so for example, luxury accessories, that's an amazing one. And I personally made over a million dollars in sales with luxury accessories. Camping, hiking, and survival is also fantastic. Gardening as well. I mean, you can find products for any of these. And, you know, you don't have to find something that you're passionate about, right? That's a huge miscon misconception. Like, just find something that works, find something where you can see that the product fits the criteria that we talked about, has a wow factor, has a great quality coming out of the factory in China, and it can be found on Alibaba or AliExpress. And also, you know, has a passion niche, has people in the niche that are really passionate about their products and are willing to spend money for them. So that's why camping, hiking, survival is also great. Uh, however, that's more seasonal. So, you know, for sure, like those products sell more in the summer as opposed to the winter. However, in the winter, I'm sure you can find another niche as well. For example, the opposite of that would be like snow sports, right? That's also a great niche. And China has a lot of products for snow sports as well. Another one would be eco-friendly products. That's been a huge trend lately and trends work really well with Shopify and with dropshipping. Some other great ones are sports. So like golf, tennis, football, and soccer. So you wouldn't directly be selling maybe like soccer balls, but you could be uh, selling, you know, stuff that's like accessories, right? Accessories for golf, accessories for tennis, things like revolutionary products that can be found in China that can make, for example, the golf swing better, right? Or that can like make your performance in tennis better. Right, so there's so many opportunities. Uh, cooking in kitchen that's huge, and trust me, people are willing to spend a lot of money just in that niche alone. Outdoor patio, lawn, and garden people always want their houses to look great, their lawns to look great, and so they're very passionate about that. So that's also great, too. And uh, beauty, huge, right? And there's so many angles you can come at this sustainable beauty, right? So products that are eco friendly, or you know, for example, luxury beauty. There's a lot of different ways you can go about that. Jewelry as well is huge, and you might be thinking, well, like, you know, what about like high end jewelry like Cartier and all these other. Uh, brands. You obviously can't compete with them. And let me tell you, maybe you won't be able to compete with Cartier or like super, super expensive uh, brands, but you definitely can get into the luxury jewelry niche. Uh, trust me, a lot of these uh, watches that cost thousands of dollars, for example, they're all made in China and you can all find them for 50 to a hundred dollars, right? That's just how the world works. If you look at the world, 99% of things come out of China. So that's just the reality of it. And you can cash in on this right now if you follow this video. Now, clothing is also great. However, I wouldn't recommend just having a uh, general clothing store because that's obviously you know very competitive and like you have to have a very very clear niche in clothing so for example maybe clothing for uh, you know oversized people uh, that's obviously huge and that's alone like fantastic niche for drop shipping or clothing that's eco-friendly you know maybe that's clothing that's made with sustainable materials something like that um, also automotive and car accessories that's obviously uh, fantastic as well 
All right, so now let's get into our very first product research technique. And this one is truly the best one out there. Now, there are a lot of YouTubers that talk about getting all these special kinds of tools, getting like 20 different tools that cost, you know, a lot of money. And for someone who's starting out, that's obviously very difficult because you're on a limited budget. Most people nowadays who are starting, they're on a limited budget because, you know, they got their nine to five job and they're probably paying bills. And so they only got some extra cash maybe to put aside to start their online business. So I totally understand. And that's why uh, in this video, I'm going to show you my favorite product research technique that doesn't involve actually, uh, you know, having 20 different tools. Now, it might be surprising, but one of the best ways I've found to actually find profitable dropshipping products is just to go on social media, like on Facebook, and scroll down on the feed. And I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, like I found a lot of amazing products. For example, right here, uh, we can see it's some kind of a, a watch store. And on first glance, you might think, okay, well, it looks like a nice watch, probably not drop shipping. You know, it doesn't look cheap. It looks high quality. And literally, look, it's just an ad of them showing the watch. Uh, there's not really any brand it looks like. If we go on their store, you can very easily tell that it is a Shopify store. So we can see, okay, boom. Uh, they're selling for $393 Canadian, uh, $367, so not cheap. If we scroll down, we can see this is Shopify. We can even see the Shopify logo at the very bottom. And this is just a Shopify store. As you can see, they're drop shipping uh, these watches. And I mean, this isn't even the brand that their, um, that their store is. So it looks like they're not even going and following my branded drop shipping method. And so there you go. Boom. That's, that's a watch right there. If we go on Alibaba and we try finding this watch, uh, we would just go type in luxury watch, maybe leather, um, leather uh, wristband. So if we go here, luxury watch, uh, leather wrist, let's try to find it. Okay, we can see, you can see watches here for 5 to $15, right? This one right here is 20 to $27, similar to what we found, right? There are so many watches on here. And for someone who has an eye for style, this could be a great opportunity as well. You know, people might think watches are incredibly competitive, but this store alone, and we use a, an app called Alexa Traffic Rank. It's actually for free. You go and type in on Google Alexa Site Rank, Google Chrome extension. Uh, it's a free app that you can install that tells you how much money a uh, dropshipping store is making. But it doesn't tell you that in dollars. It tells you that in Traffic Rank. So I'm going to show you how to interpret that right now. So right here, just click install in Chrome. There's also going to be a link in the description below for this app, as well as any other free apps that I recommend in this video. So if we go back on the store here, Alexa site rank, I have so many of them here. There you go. All right. So there are 214,000 traffic rank in the U S and 435,000 worldwide. And what this means is that Alexa, it's actually by Amazon. Um, obviously you've heard of Alexa, like the talking robot thing that you put in your house, but Alexa is just like a cloud tool in Amazon and it goes and it scans and ranks every single website, uh, based on the amount of traffic going and what traffic is. It's basically the amount of people that are visiting the website every day. So for a rank of 214,000, 215,000, that is very high, uh, or pretty high in the U S I mean, there are so many websites out there. So this website is a 214,000th or 215,000th uh, almost website with the most amount of visits in the US and 435,000th worldwide. So we can basically tell not exactly how much money they're making, but we can know for sure that they are actually making money. Now, another way of checking to see if they're actually profitable and making money, if we go on facebook.com slash ad slash library, this is a fantastic tool and it can tell you exactly, it can show you all the ads that the store that you're looking at is running. And that way you can tell whether they're actually making money or if they're not running any ads, then they're not making money and they've kind of shut down their operations. So let's go check this out. Make sure to go on the top right first and click all. That way you can see all the ads that they're running or else it's just going to show you, for example, if you're in, you know, Brazil, it's only going to show you the ads in Brazil. So make sure you click on all, and then you're going to go and type in the store name. So Tufina watches, uh, 354,000 likes. So obviously they're really huge. Uh, it looks like, right? So boom, they're running ads and you can see the exact ads that they're running. If you click play handmade in Germany since 1828, I mean, you know, basically these companies can put anything they want on these, um, like on these uh, actual ads, but you know, obviously you want to tell the truth, but anyway, yours doesn't have to be handmade in Germany. You can say designed in Germany, you know, you can say designed in California, made in China, whatever it is, obviously you're not going to promote that part of it, but yeah, like you can see the exact ads that they're running and, uh, 
it means they're making money. So that's why just scrolling through Facebook, I found a ton of amazing product ideas. So if we go through here, you'll see ads. And sometimes it might be a little more difficult. Uh, for example, this one is definitely a dropshipping store uh, and it's a branded dropshipping store. So you can see no one is talking about this on YouTube, but this is the way to go. This is the future. And uh, you can see that if we go on their website, they're promoting some kind of a smart air conditioning thing, right? So this looks like a nice website, but I'm sure that it's um, actually, this might not be Shopify, but anyway, you can recreate the same thing in Shopify and you can find the exact same thing uh, on Alibaba. Everything can be found there nowadays. It looks like a smart air conditioning controller or something like that, but you can definitely find it on Alibaba and you can repeat the same process to check to see if they're making money. So Alexa site rank, 76,000 in the US, so obviously very popular. Now to make this process faster, you can install a Chrome extension called Turbo Ad Finder. And sometimes this one isn't available on Chrome. For some reason, it kind of goes on and off, but right now it's available. So there's gonna be a link down below as well. And what this does is, if we turn on uh, this Turbo Ad Finder, it actually goes and only shows us ads. So most people block the ads, but for us uh, dropshippers, it's amazing because it just shows us all of the, of the ads. So right here, boom. This is a, a dropshipping store and this is a brand, branded store. So they've actually moved on from dropshipping and they moved over to the branded dropshipping approach and branded private labeling, which is the next step that you're gonna go to after you have a profitable store running. So right here we can see this is their ad. We can click on their store. So Snow Teeth Whitening, this is one of the biggest Shopify stores out there and it definitely runs on Shopify. If we scroll down, uh, we can see that it is Shopify. And to also uh, basically find out if it's Shopify, you right click view page source, and then you can go and command F or control F, type in Shopify, boom. If it even says Shopify, you can see that it is running on Shopify. So anything is possible. Look look at this beautiful store. Someone literally you know, made this and you can do it too. Like there's nothing, I'm telling you, there's not much difference between the person who started this and yourself. Like they all, we all started in the same shoes and we all started just learning um, basically from the information that we had. And right now you have this, which I'm very, very happy you do. So if we go to Turbo Ad Finder here, we wanna make sure that uh, it's actually working. I'm not sure if it's actually blocking or only showing us ads here. Let's try again. Maybe we have to restart our Chrome. All right, so there you go. So it's definitely showing us more ads. Sometimes the script doesn't uh, work fully, uh, but right here, Supreme Selfie Stick, right? And another branded dropshipping store. I'm surprised no one's talking about this online. It's crazy. There are so many opportunities. So right here, very, very simple store. Uh, you know, some kind of a selfie stick, I guess, that wraps around. Amazing idea. People are obsessed with selfie sticks. And if we scroll down, we can see it's Shopify. This is a common app that we're gonna talk about as well. Uh, so boom, right? So another uh, Shopify store, another amazing idea. Now the next best product research technique that I wanna show you is using a tool called Ecom Hunt. Now, like I said, I don't like promoting a lot of tools, but this tool has actually helped me with my own business. I found multiple products with this tool. And this one out of all of them out there is the best one that I found. So it's only like $20 or $30 a month. There's gonna be a link down below. And basically how it works is it's a curated list of products every single day and you can go on it and you can sort by orders and that's what we do here and if we sort by orders it will basically tell you the highest ordered uh, products now this might not be the best if you just kind of sort by orders because these are like the, the the products that have the most amount of competition as well but you shouldn't be afraid of competition anyway because if you're following the brand the dropshipping approach then you're creating a brand that is different from everybody else and that's the key to winning against competition that's the key to winning above everybody else meanwhile while everybody else is busy competing against each other copying and pasting from AliExpress, you're in a whole other uh, realm. So if we go here, category, and we choose, for example, uh, we choose like uh, cell phones and telecommunications. All right, let's take a look. So hand crank USB phone charger. I have no idea what this is, but you know, the whole point is that this is giving you ideas that you wouldn't have otherwise gotten. Blue Calm, I literally just bought um, three, uh, two pairs of blue light blocking glasses a few days ago. So this is another amazing tool. Anybody who wants to build a blue light blocking glasses store, uh, fantastic idea as well. And also a big trend. Right here, we just saw the selfie stick that is uh, here, the Supreme selfie stick. Boom, I mean, this is it right here. And if we go here on Ecom Hunt, we can see uh, exactly what the recommended selling price is. Although I wouldn't follow this. I would, if I were selling this, I would sell it for like $39.99 or $49.99 at least. And then uh, right here, it shows you the average product cost. If we use my Alibaba approach, we can get this down. We don't have to pay this much money. It's actually too much in my opinion. And uh, here it shows you 
uh, where you can find it. So AliExpress. It also shows you the CPA from Facebook ads. And this is very important as well uh, because this basically tells you how much it's going to cost you in ads for each sale. So if it costs us between three and six dollars for a sale, let's say four dollars, uh, that means that the profit margin is about this much, right? So and that's uh, this is the net, sorry, right here, sixteen to thirteen dollars, depending on your Facebook ad cost. Here it even shows you exactly what to target for. Uh, your ads, although I wouldn't recommend doing the ads this way. Uh, I have mentors that have spent over $20 million on Facebook ads. Uh, and so, you know, they've taught me differently than this. And I'm going to share with you that knowledge for free in this video. So boom, Instagram influencers, some examples as well from different parts of the world. So I would say that, you know, $20 to $30 for this is very worth it. And I would pay for this anytime I'm looking for a new product. You know, instead of just endlessly scrolling through Facebook, you can just go on this tool and basically uh, have a list. So there you go. But these are the two best product research methods. You don't need anything else. So now let's talk about finding a great dropshipping supplier. Now, obviously this is so important because if you don't have a good supplier, then your products are gonna suck and your store is gonna suck and your customers are gonna be pissed off. So we don't want that to happen. So that's why right now I'm gonna show you after years and years of speaking with hundreds, probably thousands of suppliers at this point, uh, how to find the best supplier, the best websites for finding them. And I'm also gonna share with you my personal supplier template that I use. It's called the branded dropshipping uh, supplier template. And it's something that I wrote up based on my earlier experience with selling on Amazon. Uh, so, you know, I just took a supplier template that I always use for contacting suppliers on Amazon and I just basically adapted it to Shopify. And so I'm going to give it to you absolutely free. There's going to be a link down below. And so uh, we're going to use that to contact our suppliers. And here's some key points to remember when we're contacting suppliers. All right. So uh, we're going to be using either Alibaba.com or AliExpress. Now I recommend using Alibaba and you're always going to try to use Alibaba. Most of the products that like if I was looking for a particular model, I actually found it on Alibaba, but I didn't find it on AliExpress. And the reason for that is just because I guess AliExpress has a bunch of gimmicky products, has a bunch of lower quality products based on my experience. So we want to make sure that the suppliers that we're contacting have millions of dollars in revenue you per year. And so I'm going to show you how to look at that as well. And also we want to make sure they they've been in business for at least two years. And we also want to contact at least three to five suppliers at a minimum, because if we only contact one, then we don't have any reference point in terms of prices. We don't have any negotiating power because we don't know, you know, what like the accurate prices are for a particular product. And, you know, if we're getting ripped off or if we're getting a fair deal. And also, I'm going to talk about the difference between manufacturers and traders. It's very, very important to understand the difference. Nobody really goes into this. And, uh, you know, trust me, it's actually going to give you a big plus to be able to contact a manufacturer instead of a trader. So this is the branded dropshipping supplier template. This is what it looks like right here. And the link is down below. You can go ahead, download it, and it's absolutely free. And you obviously want to change where I put the italic letter. So for example, hello, my name is name. Make sure to change this. Or if your supplier sees this, then they're going to be like, okay, this person person's not serious. And so we want to make sure that we look much bigger than we are. You don't want to tell them, Hey, I'm just a, you know, I'm just a dude or I'm just a girl trying to start a dropshipping business. Like you want to kind of make it seem like you're already established. If they start asking you for your website and things like that, say it's under development or like we're redeveloping right now. And so just right here, company name, just make up a brand name. It doesn't have to be the final one that you're going to use. You can always just tell them like, Hey, yeah, this is our new brand name. Trust me, it really doesn't matter. Uh, there's a language barrier anyway. So here our store specializes in selling um, category of products. So put in the category or the niche. And we want to emphasize that we're interested in creating a long-term business relationship with the company. Chinese suppliers are always, always interested in creating a long-term business relationship because what that means is usually they're not going to drop ship like these suppliers that we're contacting, especially in Alibaba, they're not going to start off with drop shipping uh, with most of their orders. But for us, they actually want to start drop shipping because then later on, they know that we're going to go and start ordering inventory. So like thousands and thousands of units, and that's where they make the real money. So that's why this is perfect because it starts us off on a good note. So here are some of the questions that we're going to ask. So do you offer blind drop shipping? What that is, is basically, you know, there's nothing worse than your customer uh, getting a product that they paid $50 for on your store. And what happens is that the, the product that they get has a bunch of Chinese writing on it, Chinese marketing materials, and even worse, it has the invoice that shows that you paid $3 for it. So obviously they're going to be really pissed off. So that's what's called blind drop shipping. Uh, some of them don't know what it is. So just explain to them uh, what it is uh, after when you're actually talking to them in chat. 
Uh, and then also bulk dropshipping is um, basically, you know, tell them that, hey, like, do you offer bulk dropshipping? And what that means is we're going to be sending them an Excel sheet of our orders. It's very easy to get that from uh, Shopify. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And you can just do that once every day or once every two days. And you can send them your order sheet. And that way they're going to individually fulfill every order. And it's going to go straight to your customer. You don't have to ship anything. You don't have to pack anything. So it really, really works great. And also we ask them for an MOQ if they have a minimum order quantity for any of their products products as well. And very, very important is, uh, are you able to apply my company's logo on the products? You always, always, always want to try uh, to get your logo on the product, even if it's drop shipping. Sometimes they'll say, yeah, if you want the logo, it's going to you know, be a 50 minimum order quality or 100 minimum order quality. And that's because uh, that's just the way that their printing system works. And so in that case, try to negotiate it down. Just say, hey, you know, uh, we're just doing like a test. And so that's why we can't order uh, the MOQ right now. But if you can print the, the logo on the product uh, and you can drop ship it, then we're going to order, you know, thousands of units later. And so that way they're going to be more willing to do it. And also uh, we explain how we're going to do it. So our company is going to send you an Excel spreadsheet file with each customer's information. So full name, email, address, product, and have you process each order individually. And then basically they would send us uh, an invoice and we pay via PayPal or wire transfer. I recommend PayPal. But if you have a trusted supplier, you've already kind of, uh, you know, you already have established a good relationship relationship, wire transfer is totally fine. And then at the bottom, you put in your WhatsApp number. I highly recommend uh, communicating with your supplier on WhatsApp because the AliExpress and Alibaba messaging platforms are extremely clunky. And honestly, it's just going to take days to negotiate a proper price where the same negotiations could have taken place via WhatsApp and it would have taken way less time. And at the bottom, make sure to put in your company name. So this is available below this video. You can grab it for free. So now I'm going to show you on AliExpress and on Alibaba, uh, how to find, for example, this uh, selfie stick right here. So the one that we saw, this looks like a good store. So if we go on AliExpress, let's take a look first. Uh, so I was actually searching for a scooter here before, uh, but here, if we go to selfie stick, so it'd be flexible selfie stick, hit enter. There you go. There it is. The problem with this is that although it looks good, this is way too expensive. In my opinion, uh, this shouldn't be that expensive. You see like the wide range of prices. Most likely this is a trader, someone who's in China and who's just sitting on their computer, basically cutting deals between factories and people who are trying to start dropshipping like us. And so they're pocketing the cash. So we want to avoid that. And so that's why, uh, I mean, you can even do by orders, but then it, we might not find it. So sometimes you just go to best match. And anyway, if you do find a supplier on here and you think that uh, they're good, just click on them. All right, so this is the product page on AliExpress. And we don't want to go, basically what everybody does, they just go, they click on, you know, like whatever, uh, France, China, and then color, and then buy now. Or they use Oberlo, which is a free app to just copy and paste this onto their store. And we don't want to do that. We want to contact them and try to get our logo on this product. And that's what branded dropshipping is about. Trust me, there is, there's not going to be a long-term successful store that's just going to dropship this little, you know, gimmicky thing without a logo or without anything. It can be a great product, but only if it's backed by a solid brand. So right here, you can go up here and click contact now. And this is where you're going to go and copy paste the template. Make sure that you uh, edited the names and everything like that. Don't put in the title. Don't put in template, obviously. Very, very important. So copy this and then uh, paste it in here. And then just put in your WhatsApp number and all that kind of stuff that I talked about. Now, if you look at ePacket, ePacket is the trade agreement between China and US, although trade relations have kind of uh, been torn apart recently due to the trade war. But don't worry, that doesn't affect us. Trust me, if it affected the world in any way, then, uh, you know, 99% of products come out of China. So it would actually destroy not only us, but everybody else's business as well. So don't listen to all those, you know, news articles, just focus on what's important. And that is uh, making your first profitable online business with dropshipping, with branded dropshipping. So so just to explain, ePacket is a uh, slightly faster method of shipping from China. Instead of it taking like four weeks to go to the customer, it might take two to three weeks. Now with brand and drop shipping, we always, maybe we can try to ask them for DHL shipping. That way they'll ship via DHL. It will be more expensive, but it's way faster. It'll take like three to five days from China. And then eventually we move on over to brand and private labeling on our store. And that is the key. That is how you build a multi-million dollar store that will set you up for life. Now I showed you AliExpress, but the way that I like to do it is I like 
like going on Alibaba. I have more experience with this site and I found a lot of amazing products from here and just much better suppliers overall. And honestly, you can find such amazing suppliers on here. Like this week, I just ordered a new product and my supplier is already asking me for links to my product page to see like if I put in the right instructions, the right explanation, because they want to make sure that I sell. Because if I sell, that means that I'm going to put in more orders with them and you know they're going to make more money and we all make more money. So that's why Alibaba is fantastic. So for this, we're going to type in flexible selfie stick. And this is what I would recommend. This is the best way for branded dropshipping. So uh, let's see here. You really just have to dig. Sometimes the products are on one, but not the other. But I am sure that you'll be able to find it here. So uh, flexible selfie stick. So let's go. And first, I always go and do um, verified supplier. This is basically like a program that um, Alibaba vets the suppliers and uh, has inspections and things like that and makes sure that the supplier is actually good. But just because the supplier isn't a uh, verified supplier doesn't mean that they're necessarily bad. So right here, it looks like it's kind of harder to find this product. So if we went here, we saw, try to look at like the name too, you know, like uh, flexible selfie stick or monopod monkey holder, I guess. So let's see if I can find this here. All right, so it looks like I found something similar right here. So a lot of the times, if we go and actually see the supplier and we contact them, then uh, they'll be able to you know, find us a better model, right? It doesn't mean that we have to buy this exact one. And that's why Alibaba is better because um, you're, uh, you have a much higher chance of actually contacting the uh, factory instead of just the trader who's making money off of you on AliExpress. So in this case, we can see the price. So already it's uh, way below. Uh, it looks like it could be the same thing. Uh, it just might be presented in a different way on AliExpress. Um, but there you go. And uh, we would go and just hit contact supplier. And then when we hit that, we would uh, put in our quantity. By the way, for quantity, even though we're dropshipping, put in a thousand. If you put in a thousand, trust me, a supplier who sees a $1,000 uh, or 1,000 quantity message, they'll always want to reply that faster than something that has only one uh, quantity, right? Uh, so if we go here, we just copy this and then paste it in here without the title and make sure to like change the name and the company name and things like that. And so there you go, and you just send inquiry, and then you can leave agree to share business card checked, and then hit send inquiry now, and that's it. So if we go here, we can see, uh, by the way, also, if you look at the supplier here, three years in business, so remember I said minimum two years, if it's one year, it could be fine, but you would have to dig deeper. And if we actually go and click on them, this supplier is based in Shenzhen. And a lot of my suppliers are from Shenzhen. Shenzhen is a great place for electronics and uh, phone accessories and things like that, um, like Bluetooth, anything like that. So here you can see how many employees they have, the year they were established, transactions, uh, we can go to, um, there's uh, usually a revenue per year. Sometimes they don't put it in here. Right here, total annual, annual revenue is in the millions. They got pictures of their, um, of their factory. Sometimes they don't use real pictures, but you know, if they're giving you a good price, that's all that matters, right? So once we contact three to five suppliers, we get them on WhatsApp, we start negotiating with them. Uh, you know, we see which one has the best price or which one we can negotiate the price down. And that usually tells us, it doesn't matter if they're a trader or a factory, uh, it's just most likely that the factory will give you a better price. And so that's something that you have to be aware of. Now you're probably wondering, well, Dan, if we go and use Alibaba to find a uh, product for the branded dropshipping method that you're talking about, uh, then how are we gonna put it on our store? And that's a great question. It's actually very simple. And I'm gonna show you that right now as we move into the uh, actual design and creating of the Shopify store. So you just go and create a sales page and you manually just add your own pictures, add your own uh, sales text. You don't have to use overload to copy paste it off AliExpress or any of that. So that's how we do it. Now let's move into the next part. All right, so now let's get into actually setting up our store and the actual design of it, as well as basically putting it all together so that it looks great for our customers. So I assume by now that you've already set up your Shopify free trial, as we've discussed at the beginning of this video. If not, then just go ahead and click on the link below the video right now to go and set up your free trial. And it's gonna bring you to a page that's similar to this. And you're gonna to wanna to put an email address, a password, and your store name here. Now, if you already know what your product is, as well as what your brand name is, then I recommend uh, don't use your personal email address. You can go and temporarily set up a Gmail uh, under your store name. So for that, we just go on gmail.com. And here I recommend clicking on create account and then go and uh, click on for myself. And then just go ahead. We're gonna be creating a Gmail here. So for first name, let's say that our store name is gonna be Glowy Skin. And this is actually a store that uh, I have the domain name. I already have the logo and everything like that. I just never set it up because I got too busy and I've since moved on to different projects and different stores. So that's why it's perfect. And I'm gonna be showing you how I would set up this store uh, you know, for this video so you can follow step by step. So 
in this case, for the username that we're going to put in here, we're going to put glowy skin. Uh, I already have like a, an email with this, so glowy skin store, or you can put glowy skin official or glowy skin support at gmail.com. Now, this is only temporary because uh, we want to uh, have our support email look more legitimate. And I'm going to explain how to get that, how to get like an actual uh, domain name email later on with Gmail. You can have it so it's like support at glowy skin.com or glowy skin co.com, whatever your domain name is. So just go ahead, put in your password, confirm, hit next. And once you've created your email, then go back in here and put it into the email address. So here I'm going to put in glowy skin store at gmail.com and for store name, I'm going to put in glowy skin and let's see if that's available. That already exists. And I already, I already actually have the store uh, glowy skin co. So that's why it already exists. But if your actual store name isn't available, then just put in co at the end. And also as you're doing this, I highly recommend you go and check if you can get the domain name for your store, if it's even available. So in that case, we want to go on Google domains or you can go on GoDaddy or Namecheap and uh, that's how you get the domain name for your store. That's basically like the www, you know, glowyskin.com or whatever's in between the www and .com. So if we go to domains.google right here, um, search for your domain, we're going to type in glowyskin.com. All right, so here it's going to say whether it's taken or not. So this one I know is already taken. And uh, I think that I have this domain or maybe someone else does, but I definitely have like a glowy skin co or glowy skin store.com. So if you can, as long as you can find like a glowy skin co or glowy skin store, um, you know, or glowy skin.co is fine as well. Uh, so in that case, then you can still use the name. And uh, then, you know, that way we're not going to be like surprised when we're actually setting up our store. We want to buy our domain and we can't even buy a suitable domain. And if you don't buy a domain, then it's not going to be professional and your, your store link is going to be like, uh, you know, for example, glowyskin.myshopify.com. So then just hit start free trial once you've already checked this stuff, you've created your uh, temporary support email that you're going to use for your customers. And uh, yeah, just start free trial. So now we're going to get to this part right here and uh, it's going to say success, your store is ready to go. And so now it's going to say, tell us a little bit about yourself. So I'm going to walk you through step by step what to say here. So for all you, are you already selling? You can just put, I'm selling, just not online. Or you can put, I am not selling products yet. And then uh, do, you, do you have something to sell and say, yes, I have a product. I'll be ready to launch soon. Current revenue, you can put like up to 5,000 or I'm just getting started. It doesn't really matter. If you put the higher uh, numbers here, then you're going to get a call from a Shopify specialist and they're going to basically try to sell you on their enterprise plan. So that's why it's better to just put like uh, 5,000 or zero and then click next. You can also skip it if you want. And here you want to add an address so you can get paid. Uh, so this is like your default business address. So uh, just put in the address either of your house where you live or of your registered business. If you already have an LLC or a corporation, then just put the address of that business. If you don't have that, you don't necessarily need that to start. However, uh, I recommend getting that set up in your uh, home country. So wherever you are, for example, if you're in Canada, then get a corporation. If you are in the United States, get an LLC. Some of the best states to do that are Nevada, Delaware, Wyoming. Florida, you have to look at uh, each individual state because they all have their own um, benefits. So there you go. Those are typically the states, by the way, with like the low, lowest uh, taxes. So if you don't have an LLC yet, that's fine. You can start as a sole proprietorship, but definitely as soon as you're making money, you want to make sure you get an LLC. It's not that expensive. It's a few hundred dollars and uh, it will save you a lot of money in taxes and a lot of headache. So just go ahead put your first name, last name, and your address, and then uh, put your phone number and then your domain if you ha already have a domain. If not, then you can just uh, leave it blank because we're going to be covering buying a domain later on in this video. And then click enter my store. All right, so now we're in our new Shopify store and this is called the dashboard. So this is what it will look like. Once you start making sales, you'll see that there's gonna be a lot of new things that pop up, like how much money you're making and you can do a breakdown of every single day, every single month, and you can see things like your um, conversion rate and all that kind of stuff. So uh, for now, it's pretty basic. We don't have a lot of stuff here and it's telling you to add a product, add a theme, add a domain. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a theme. Now there are free themes and there are paid themes and I'm gonna explain the difference between the two uh, obviously other than the fact that you have to pay for the uh, paid theme uh, i'm going to show you amazing free themes that you can use i've personally used free themes and i've made millions of dollars with just free themes so it's not like you absolutely need a paid theme it all depends on what kind of look you want for your store and if you really want to kind of go away from the generic shopify look then i recommend doing a paid theme they're not even that expensive i'll show you some great ones that i found that i personally use and they're about 100 to 200 uh, that you pay once so now click on online store and then themes and then scroll down and click on shopify themes store store visit theme store and so here is where you can get all the themes that you need so if you go to uh, collections we go to for example minimalist style let's take a look at what they have so they have a lot of amazing free ones here so like pop and boundless these are newer ones 
and then debut. I've actually used debut. I'm gonna open up the, the good uh, free themes. And for the purpose of this video, I'm actually gonna be designing the store with a free theme, just so that um, you can follow along in case you don't wanna pay or you're on a tight budget. Because like I said, they're great. Like you don't need anything special. Now, here is an example of a great paid theme. And this one's called launch. And I already bought this one here. This one's $180. The best part about this theme is that there's uh, multiple styles included. So it's not just one. So you can see like cool, fresh, bold. So in our case, we're going to be building a hair removal store. So Glowy Skin is actually, I'm going to show you the product here. This is the product. So it's a hair removal handset. And this is just for this video. Uh, like I said, I am not pursuing this product anymore, but this is it. So this is uh, what the product looks like. It's an advanced laser hair removal device. And we found it on Alibaba. If we go on Alibaba, you can just clearly see um, that it's there. If we go here, if we type in hair removal uh, IPL device or laser, then you'll be able to find it. I just want to show you that it's available here on uh, Alibaba. Sometimes you just have to scroll through. So like right here, this is a similar one. I guess that's a copy. That's a copy. It's actually really fast. It's funny how fast uh, Chinese suppliers make copies of products, which is a good thing because you can, that means you can always find a better quality uh, version. So there you go. It's actually this one right here, just uh, slightly different, but that is the product that we're going to be using it as, as an example for building this store. And so if we take a look at, for example, launch, uh, a great uh, a great theme for this or a great style would be bold, uh, fresh. I don't think that that would be good. Um, I think bold would be good, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to use a free theme. By the way, just to show you, a really big dropshipping store, uh, blendjet.com, this is also a branded dropshipping store, so you can see my strategy is not just used by me, but it's used by many out there. Uh, you can see, this is exactly that theme. Launch, cool, right, you can see, boom, same exact style, so they didn't even change it that much, and you pull up the Alexa site rank on the store, 23,000 in the United States, so it's huge. They're making uh, like tens of millions of dollars per year. So. Let's take a look and see, okay. So debut, uh, we can either do default or light, and then there's also minimal, vintage, fashion. Let's see which one we can use. I think this one's better for like clothing. And then pop, uh, yeah, this one's a little bit too, too basic. So I think debut, and there was also another one called jumpstart. Uh, I've actually personally used this theme, it's really good. We go to jumpstart. Actually, this one's really, really good. Let's see the product page. You can always click on view demo click on features, right? So there you go. And then we'd be able to have like a product page there. And then we can see debut. You can view the demo as well. And then boom, uh, product page. So let's go ahead and add this theme. We're gonna use debut. So for theme styles, let's see, default. Uh, I think we're gonna use the, the light one. The light one was much better. So add theme. And now it's gonna install the theme on your store. So now it's gonna say, are you sure you wanna publish debut? Click publish. So now the theme is live on our store. And if we go and we uh, click here, customize. So now we're in our theme. And as you can see, it just has the store name. So Glowy Skin Co. We're gonna change that to Glowy Skin. And then boom, this is what it looks like. So since this is gonna be a branded dropshipping store, it's only gonna be one product uh, at first. Maybe we're gonna add on some uh, complimentary products later once we've already made money and we're making money. Uh, for now, we're gonna delete like this featured collection and we're gonna make some changes here. So the first thing I like to do is I like to upload my logo. And I already have a logo for this brand right here. So uh, boom, as you can see, I've got a few pictures. I've got some photography done before for this. Uh, now for your logo, what I highly, highly recommend, I'm gonna give you some options here because you're gonna need a logo to start selling. Uh, the first thing that you can do is you can go on canva.com and this is a free website. It is much easier to use than Photoshop and it's honestly amazing. I actually have a paid monthly plan with this website because it's so good and I've used it for years in all of my businesses. So you can go here, you can create a design. For example, for a logo, it would be about, I would say width would be 400. If it's just a text lo logo, this, this should be enough, 400 by 150, or you can even do uh, 800 by 300, that, that'd be better. And uh, it should give you like a wide space, there you go. And then for a logo, you can just go to text here. And then uh, for example, a font that I like would be Montserrat, or actually uh, right here, we would go add a heading first. And then for a font, it would be Montserrat. Okay, so even like that, boom, glowy skin, and boom, I have a logo, right? Uh, if I go and I go on Google and then I take like an emoji of stars, stars emoji, for example, um, sparkles, I guess, I would copy this and see if this works here. So I can try to put that in before, boom, I have a logo. There you go, right? So I actually already did this. Uh, let me take a look at my logo here. 
So it's very similar. I actually just put the sparkles at the end. So there it is. It's as simple as that. And what you do is you just go to uh, publish and then download. And when you download it, you want to download it as a PNG. And that way, uh, also you want to make sure that it's a transparent background and then click download. And then we can just upload it onto our store. And the beautiful part about this is that you don't have to pay anyone. It's free. It's really, really easy. There's a lot of other great fonts. Like for example, Lee Gothic is good. Um, there you go, right? So that would be better for like a high tech store, right? So you gotta make sure that your logo fits your uh, product niche. Also, if you, don't, if you don't know how to design a logo or if this isn't working for you, then I recommend going on either fiverr.com or upwork.com. Upwork is gonna be more expensive, but these two are the best freelancing website on, websites online. Here you can find amazing graphic designers. You can see here, just type in logo. Same thing here, you just go and you type in logo design at the top here on upwork.com, and then you turn off US only, and then over here you filter it by, uh, we're really going into everything here, it's amazing. I'm really happy that I have the chance to make this video for you guys. So uh, if we go here on the left, hourly rate, uh, we can do $10 and below, or if you want slightly higher quality, 10 and $30, uh, but you really don't need that. Job success, 90 and up. Earned amount, 10K plus earned. Hours build, 1000 plus. Um, and then English level, doesn't really matter. And you just go and you look at their portfolios, right? So this one right here, graphic design, graphic design. There's a lot of really, really great graphic designers from India, from the Philippines, and they only charge like $8, $7 an hour. So it's really a great website, but that's only if Canva doesn't work for you. So I have my logo here. We're gonna go to logo image and then click select image and then click upload. And then right here, glowy skin product pics. There you go. And then now that is our logo. And then you can even change the logo width right here. Uh, you can like basically decide how big you want it. So that looks good for now. And then for menu, we're gonna uh, touch that later. Now, the next part is gonna involve uploading some pictures to our website. Uh, we need really good pictures for our brand store. What's really, really important with brand the dropshipping, if you wanna succeed, is to present your product in the best possible light. And to do that, we have to make sure that we have some professional quality pictures. And I'm gonna explain how to do that right now. So for that, you're gonna need to get one sample to your house, one or two of your uh, products, at least, so you can see them, so you can take pictures of them, or so you can send them out to a photographer if needed. And so I already did this. How this works is when you're gonna be talking to your supplier on WhatsApp, just ask for a sample and they're gonna charge you typically more than what one unit would usually cost, but that's because it's just more expensive for them to produce a sample with your logo. And you wanna make sure that they produce the sample with your logo. That's very, very important. Tell them to produce sample with logo and then they're gonna send it off to your house. You gotta wait until that comes. And once it arrives, you can go and either take pictures of it yourself. You want a few pictures on a white background. I'm gonna show you some examples of pictures that I have here. So for example, these are all pictures on a white background. So there you go, that's on a white background. And I actually had my personal photographer do this. And if you want a link to the photographer that I use for all of my e-commerce businesses and who actually made these pictures for this uh, product as well, the link is down below. And so you can see that they're like white, uh, they're on white backgrounds and then you got the box, right? So very, very simple. If I actually launched this, I'm sure I would have made millions of dollars. But to be honest with you, I have so many brands and I have so many businesses that sometimes it just gets overwhelming. And so it's perfect because now I can show you how I would build this store. But uh, yeah, so these are just some examples of pictures. And then also you wanna get some lifestyle pictures as well. So either if you have a nice enough camera or you can even try using your iPhone, iPhone camera is good enough, you can go and just take your pictures of your product being used. So you want uh, pictures of every angle on a white background and then you want pictures you know, with your product being used. So outside or in the environment where your product is usually being used. So now I'm in my Google Drive and you can see that here are the pictures that we took. So we just took a bunch of pictures and these you can use for your uh, website, right? So you can see um, I have a, a model here, a female model that uh, we had for the pictures. So there you go. So this is very, very important. Like if you don't have the pictures yet, that's fine. You can continue moving on. You can skip to the next uh, timestamp here, uh, the next part of actually setting up your store. But to get these pictures, very important. Wait until you get the sample. Or if you're going to hire a photographer off Upwork or Fiverr, just go ahead and have your supplier send a sample directly to them. Uh, just ask for their address uh, when you're hiring someone off Upwork in the messages and then send it directly to them. So now I'm going to go and upload an image here. So let's Let's go ahead and choose select image. And I already uploaded a few here. So let's go and have this, let's try this one out here. So sometimes it doesn't look the best. Uh, so we can actually edit it after. So you can change like the middle image alignment here. Uh, so you can see how it looks uh, top, bottom. So for this one, we're gonna do uh, middle. Layout, you can either do fixed width or full width. So we're gonna do fixed width. 
And now here you can put in text if you want. Now, uh, I actually have a competitor for this product. I actually got inspiration from a store called Hey Silky Skin. They're doing millions and millions of dollars, I think tens of millions of dollars now. And uh, you can just go, and I recommend looking at your, uh, your competition just to get ideas. We don't wanna copy our competition, okay? I don't wanna be teaching this information to people who are just looking to line their pockets uh, and take advantage of people, you know, and not actually sell and build something of value for our world, right? I don't wanna give this information to people who are just trying to take advantage of others. So that's why if you're not that kind of person, then you're gonna use competitors just as inspiration, just to see, you know, what kind of text headlines they're using, because obviously it's working. Like don't reinvent the wheel, there's no need to, right? Right? Just kind of come at it from a different angle, from your own angle, improve on it, but just don't copy, all right? So already our store is using a different theme, so it already looks significantly different. So right here, I got a headline, so DIY laser hair removal is here. So here we're gonna put in, um, let's try like do it yourself, laser hair removal is, is here, all right? So let's try that out. Okay, so that's a little too long, so we can try DIY, laser hair removal is here. Right, so you would try to you know not copy them exactly, but there you go, it looks great. So preferably you wouldn't try to copy them exactly, but just to make this a little faster for you, or else we could spend hours and hours. I'm just going to go and show you how this would look. Uh, but instead, you know, you can do like premium laser hair removal is here, right? So there you go. And also you can change the size of this, which I'll talk about later, how to actually customize things on your website. So DIY laser hair removal is here, and then for the text here, you can put in whatever you want. So just for this video, I'm gonna put the best uh, laser hair removal device on the planet. All right, so there you go. Boom. And then you can even put a button. So uh, shop now. Now there should be a button that pops up. Actually, I'm not sure where the button is, but usually there is a, uh, a button. So we're gonna put that in later uh, when we actually have a product page up. We don't have a product page yet. So now let's go back. And then uh, up here, we've got the menu. So we also wanna add the uh, menu uh, options as well. And we also wanna add the apps. So for the featured collection here, we can click on it and then we can put one product. Uh, actually, we can't put, two, we can't put uh, less than two. So uh, for now, we're just going to uh, hide this section. So you can just click that. Here, we've got like a slideshow. So uh, maybe we'll have that in the future. And then here you can like put in some text about your brand. So you just click on that and then you can customize everything you want. So what we're gonna do next, and also like for example, map here, we don't need map, one, two, three, fake street. Uh, we don't need a map, so we're gonna take that off. And then that's pretty much it. And then you can also customize things like your footer. So show payment icons, you wanna turn that on so your customers can see that um, we support you know credit cards like Amex and uh, all that kind of stuff, Visa. And so you can also change the colors here for a newsletter. We're also not gonna have this just as a newsletter. That's not effective email marketing. And so in that case, you just wanna click remove content. And so you just wanna make it uh, as you know minimalistic as possible. You don't wanna have a bunch of clutter on your page. Now, if we go to theme settings here and we click on typography, I always like to change this. Now, if we go to change, uh, usually you'll get like the default uh, typography that comes with your uh, theme. So just test out different uh, texts. For this one, this looks good, but I like to make my store look different than everybody else because you know you don't want to look like the basic uh, Shopify store, right? So uh, for example, a good one, let's try Arvo. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so I don't really like that. You can t try Assistant, load more. This one looks doesn't look bad. So we can try Assistant, select. And so this is gonna change the uh, heading typography on your store. And then for the body text, it's gonna leave uh, Muley. And then you can even change the size of it. So if we go to, uh, like uh, we can change it here. And then for heading, you can make it bigger, All right? So there's actually, uh, there's like a limit here for desktop. But also if we click up here, it's gonna show you how your store looks on mobile. So obviously when we actually build it out, it's not gonna look like this. And we're gonna make sure that we have an optimized picture and things like that. Now, if you don't have any pictures yet, you can always just go on Google and have temporary pictures up. It's always better to have uh, your brand pictures on here, obviously, but just go on Google, uh, images.google.com, go to images here, and then we can type in, for example, um, laser hair removal device. Okay, and then, you know, you can just choose a picture from here. So for example, like this, this would be fine. You can save it and then upload it onto your store as a temporary picture while you're waiting for your pictures, your professional pictures to come. Now, before we continue customizing our page and making it look better, the next thing we need to do is we need to actually set up a collection of products. So if we go back to our store here, we wanna to go to products, and then here we're gonna to wanna to add a product. 
And so this is very important. And with branded drop shipping, it's a one product store. So we only need to add one product unless you have two products and they're like really complementing each other and you want to start with two. Although I always, always, always recommend starting with one. Confucius said, uh, if you chase two rabbits, you'll catch none. So make sure that you focus on one thing until you succeed. And for this, we're just going to go and uh, type in a title here. So uh, we're going to put glowy skin, advanced, uh, premium, premium laser hair removal device. For description and we're going to put the best uh, laser device in the world just for now and then for images uh, we're going to go and drag and drop some pictures here so let's take a look at our pictures and go to click quick look so that would be our first picture so we can go and just uh, drag and drop it here there you go and so now it's going to add each picture and uh, by the way for your pricing uh, we're going to put the price as, uh, if we look at our competition, they're selling this for, I believe, like $200, uh, $300 Canadian. So uh, for this, we're going to actually put uh, $229.99 compared to, let's say, um, I don't know, four, $500. So it's going to cross that off and it's going to uh, show the sale price. It's kind of like a permanent sale. And that way it entices people more to buy. And so uh, you want to do charge tax on this product unless you want to uh, take care of taxes yourself. That's sales tax. And then for inventory, you don't have to fill this out. And if we go down quantity, you want to put like 100,000 since it's unlimited. Um, and then this is a physical product. Now for weight, you want to put in 100 grams. And there's a reason why I'm doing this. It's because I structure the shipping zones in a way where it all makes sense. You'll see what I'm doing after. But you can put in like one kilo per, it doesn't really matter what you put in here. But I just like having it 100 grams, even though it's not the actual accurate weight. This is just for uh, how your store calculates the shipping prices. And then customs information, leave this blank. You only need to uh, fill this out if you are using the Shopify mailing system. And then here you can edit the website SEO. Now what this is, it's for how Google ranks your product. And if you want to rank your product better, you can put like uh, the best uh, DIY hair removal uh, device in the world, glowy skin, right? And then here you just want to fill it up with keywords. So for example, like DIY or the best DIY hair remo laser hair removal device for hair for home use. And then you can just keep writing keywords in here. And then for URL and handle, we don't touch that. And then that's pretty much it for now. And then we're gonna hit save. So now we created our product page and you can go and improve this later on. You can customize it. And if you click on view, you can see how it looks right now. So it's a dedicated page for our product. And this is where we're actually gonna go and we're gonna significantly change this. Like we're gonna make sure that the sales text is much, much longer. I highly recommend you do that. And also you wanna make sure that your product pictures are of high enough quality so that uh, you can actually have this zoom in effect here. So now let's talk about the apps, which apps we should install onto our store, which apps I recommend in 2019 2020 and beyond. And there's a lot of amazing, amazing apps. I mean, the app store in Shopify has grown and continues to grow a lot. So that's why there's always new apps coming out that do things better. So there's a lot of free ones. There's a lot of paid ones, but the paid ones, usually, especially the ones that I recommend you, they will uh, pay off themselves way, way, way more, and they'll make you way more profit. So if you go to visit Shopify app store here, we're going to start with the order lookup app. And that app allows us to install like an order lookup onto our store, which is great because if we're having our supplier ship the order, or if we're uh, doing like fulfillment centers, which we'll talk about later, then your customer, when they get a tracking number, they can just go onto your um, website and then they can go at the top and there's going to be like an order lookup number. So order lookup page. So if we go to order lookup and we type that in here, and then we're going to click on order lookup here. This one has a uh, seven day free trial. Let's click on the add app here. All right, and then you wanna click on install app. Here you wanna click on start free trial. So now we have 